think that was it, right? Oh, one more thing. Uh, Jonathan Majors. Damn. But I forgot to look up the exact thing that he got accused. I mean, the thing he got found guilty of. So uh, I do know that. Like, I don't know what the proper terminology for it was, like how the verdict was. Yeah. But he got in trouble. He got convicted of, like, I guess it was, like, mm, if I'm not mistaken, they're saying assault, even though it was in defense, because he still yes. struck her. Yes. Because, like, so, like, when he was, like, blocking to keep her away, he, like, he went came across, like, her fingers and messed up her fingers. So, like, that's why it was an assault, even if it was in self-defense. That's the only thing he got convicted guilty of. Not all the other charges of, like, actual, I mean, let me take that back. Um, of like domestic violence um because regardless it seemed to be like a domestic situation one way or another you know mm -hmm. um obviously we don't know in full details what to what extent if there was any abuse i'm just saying that because that's what he got convicted of he didn't actually get convicted of domestic violence so no. when the court of law technically he's like innocent of that you know so um which is why it would explain the pictures of him. Like, they had him going, like, still out and about, like, pretty much, like, a normal day. Because I guess he knew, oh, well, I already... And that's, like, that's fine if I get convicted of that. Because at least it's for that and not the other stuff, you know? Oh, yeah. Um, but then Marvel drops him. So people were, like, saying, like, right, so they should apologize to him for that you know and like make that right yeah because y'all see the footage come on now <laughs> i mean she was really trying to get whatever he was not wanting her to get <laughs> <laughs> and i mean at one point he had a blockade and unfortunately struck her you know like <laughs> and he can own up to that and say well yeah you know regardless of me trying my best to get away was by maneuvering and <laughs> like trying to block. <laughs> <laughs> I somehow struck her, you know? So. I somehow struck her. Because, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's this going to do? What, y'all think y'all going to get canceled if y'all continue with him in the series? I well they, did, right? I, well, they did the same thing to Johnny Depp. So, like, I think Disney's just being like, you know, I guess not wanting to stir the pot too much, you know. So they're like, right before it's even confirmed, let's just go ahead and drop him to like, you know. And Damn. if even if he's innocent later, we'll 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 well because you, know? you know. And then this it it sucks that I would think what they would have to do is make him apologize publicly because then that goes back to like, yeah, here we go again, making you dance, right? Like, you know, All like right. the thing they did to Kevin Hart. You know, when he was going to host the Oscars. You right. Know? So. Um, but nah, you know, like, I mean, he can. I don't think it is obligated, I would say, just to go back and work for Marvel. But what sucks is that now the all the studios not going to want to work with him or are they just going to give it some time so that it boils over and then i feel like that's what will happen okay like i feel like johnny depp is still like doing stuff maybe not in particular with disney but you know yeah the offers i'm sure will still eventually come in yeah because um, i mean that's what was concluded you know i'm just going off by that and seeing the footage like you know what i'm saying like Absolutely. Y'all got footage, Marvel? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, I think it's also a thing where they're like, yeah, but we don't know how the public's going to react. And which, regardless off of the first few headlines, everybody was like, see, this is why I like. And then, like, once he got convicted because they didn't clarify what the convictor was like, see, look, um, he's still guilty, he's still guilty. And then when people were like, hold up, but do you actually know what, like, it still took a long time to finally get to like, and I still think some people believe they know he was like actually guilty of like domestic violence and actually hitting her because they didn't actually go and read and like see the video. They're just going off of like, oh, he got found guilty because the headlines also aren't clarifying what he got 
convicted of. They're just like, oh, it was a guilty verdict, you know, like, and if you don't do the, if you don't do your own research, that's on you, you know? Yeah. And uh, what was I going to say? Damn. Shoot. Oh, like. Nah, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I really Shit. thought you had it there. <laughs> I know. I thought I had it too. My bad, y'all. My bad. The other thing too earlier, you know, if y'all hear it earlier with me maneuvering the mic, I hate that. Like, because I'm noticing that it's falling. Oh. And I don't want the awkwardness. So I'd rather save the awkwardness. But then I, I feel rude because, like, I may be making sound over you while oh, you're, you're talking. Kidding. So I do have to address that. You know? <laughs> but, um, yeah, like I was saying about him, uh, it, it could have been more like um, counseling, you know, sentenced to something like that, not jail time. He's about to get a year, you know, <laughs> like to deal in with situations like that, you know, um, they could have offered that, you know, or whatever, worked that in somehow. I don't know. Oh, oh, that's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. Okay. I remember now. Uh, I've only seen it in articles or read it, I should say. And, but I haven't heard the audio, you know, but just by reading whatever he was saying to her, uh, in text, I guess, or in audio, right? Like a voicemail talking about who she should have acted like Mm -hmm. and these articles or blogs are so funny how they make it sound as if like it's something sexual you know because even by the comments exactly like even if they don't mean to or they're just being smart about it um the reaction is what i'm paying attention to like right see exactly people are thinking like he's trying to have her act a certain way to like have her submissive Mm -hmm. you know and i'm just like no he's probably saying because if you read more into the context of it all he was explaining before that how he does you know good for the community as him as a black man you know like that he needs her to be moving a certain way holding him down uh-huh. is what i got from it you know what i'm saying um and that's why he mentioned those names you know who she should act like but it's just funny how like post made it sound like as a submissive way or like in check but that's funny right why why would that be the suggestion to say that that's what he was meaning wait you took it as a, a submissive in a sexual way yeah from the reaction like now that because you could still be submissive and it has nothing to do with like oh well that and also like in a sex gender way you know so like in a traditional value okay way. there we go yeah yeah because like well yeah because like submissive just means that you're gonna f- take follow the lead of like your husband that's all that means. Like, it's just that, you know, they've made it sexual. But submissive just means that, like, whatever, he's going to take the lead and that you, like, need to hold it down. But because you said Coretta Scott was who he was referring to. I believe was, so, yeah. Was that were, one of the It names? was known figures, like, from history. Okay, so the, the, the thing with Coretta Scott, right, is because... She held Martin Luther King down, right? Like, and she, you know, was, like, there by his side through all the, like, you know how tough that was, right? So I do see what about, like, because he's, like, trying to go with saying, like, he's, like, an activist. Like, through his activism, she needed him to, like, know her place and, like, have his back and, like, hold it down, right? The only thing with that is that with Coretta Scott in particular, if he used that example, right, was that because she allowed the cheating, for the greater good so if he's saying like i need you to know your place and like let me do my thing out here because you know i have this like overall plan and like my activism is like the face of what i'm trying to make it then maybe that's a little like now i don't know who else he named but particularly with the credit scott thing like is because she knew about the cheating and like you know well you know he went into and this is maybe something i don't know but Martin Luther King, like, 
why he wanted the integration Here we source go. so he could get <laughs> the white woman. So that's problematic within itself, you know? Um, that's crazy. Right. I still don't want to believe it. She talks about it, you know? The estate talks about it. Really? The U.S. government knew about it. That's why they threatened him to be like, okay, so I don't know if she knew about like her, like the white woman that he was actually trying to like, that he was trying to be with the white woman. He knew that he was out here with these other like ladies that he was messing with, like black ladies. <laughs> um, but um, no, he like the U.S. government like threatened Martin Luther King like, slow your roll or we're gonna tell your wife about this white woman you're trying to be with and that's why you want the integration so you can legally be with this that's crazy you know so it is what it is maybe that's why i could see the the divide between him and malcolm x right damn damn because i think malcolm x was like you're full of shit you're not doing it for the reasons you're saying you know damn <laughs> so this food, I don't know. Okay, never mind. Lock him up. <laughs> <laughs> well, nah, with just with that's no, with up. just with that example, if we're going with just him saying Credit Scott. That's the, that's like the background with between like, well, hold up, you trying to make her be a Credit Scott? Because listen, um, she, <laughs> she took one for the team for. You know? <laughs> Are you looking it up? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> Now I'm like curious to, you know, <laughs> look up who he mentioned because I don't I don't want to be wrong, but I know it was like an activist, you okay. know. So. <laughs> okay. but keep going, like, no, yeah, I'm, I was just saying like because when I found that out, I was like because even Jake Cole talks about it like on what's it called? Um. Oh well, Michelle Obama is one of them. He said. Oh okay okay okay. Well, that's not that's a good. Oh, he demanded Michelle Obama behavior. Oh, I could see that. And she was very ah, ladylike. She was very like you know. Okay. She was very. She was very. Uh, she had her own thing going on with the community too. Where she had her her program. She was like, and she knew how to like. Art- she was very articulate. You know what I mean? Like, and she held herself like yeah a high value woman. So. Yeah, here we go. Uh, the audio of Jonathan Major's controversial rant. Come on, this stupid ass. <laughs> <laughs> it says compared to who? Uh, comparing Coretta Scott. Coretta Scott King and Michelle Obama to his ex-girlfriend Grace Jabari has been released. Y'all want to hear it? Should we listen to it together? Yeah. I don't know if they can hear it. Let me see. Let's see what this sounds like. Okay, okay. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear it. We'll maybe make adjustments so that y'all can hear it. Here we go. Do you understand that? Yeah. Do you really go fish? Do you really? Yes. Then how dare you come home drunk and disturb the peace of our house when we have a plan? I'm so I don't like sorry. To get to, I don't like to get to the point where your friends know what job I'm on and go, I might so, like I'm, I'm, no no do you understand that because because that team that unit right Grace has to be in a certain mindset to support Coretta Scott King you know who that is that's Martin Luther King's wife Michelle Obama Barack Obama's wife I know I'm not I I, I, I shouldn't have gone out I'm no, no, sorry let me just, let me just lay it out for you. oh okay I hear it I'm hearing it.
Okay, hold up. Can y'all hear me? Okay, here we go. So that's better. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And my bad what I said. <laughs> hold up. See, but there we go. You see how I was reacting to the reactions right. more so than like, again, in my bad because I just read it. I didn't hear the audio. Right. And to that even longer uh, context. Yeah. I understand. I don't I don't see the submissive at all. I think all yeah. he's saying is I don't know. Well, they were could. joking about it is my thing too. Like, how are you gonna be saying to act like them? Like, you know, or like that's weird almost. Like that's why. I was like, why would it be weird? Like what what's wrong with com- comparing you know, to them. Now it don't have to be them. Maybe there's a little I, touchy, I still, but I, I see his point now when you hear the audio. What, but I still stand by what I said about Coretta King Scott. Like I, I think she was not a good example to hold down Michelle Obama. Yes, all day, all day, Michelle Obama. Because what I'm, what I'm hearing from him is saying he's like, listen, I'm a high value man, and I, I don't need a girl that's like out clubbing and still trying to like party. Because we're like on this bigger mission, right? So I need you to step up to be a high value woman. Everyone goes through that. Everyone goes through their phase where they're partying and being like immature and stuff. And not to say that you're immature if you're still partying like later on, but there's just like a tasteful way to do it. Because if he's trying to like have this like vision of what he's trying to like make the world better is what I'm like hearing, right? Then yes, like you want to carry yourself in a different way. I felt like he articulated that well. I felt like he was communicating well. I think that is she is she white? The girl? Yeah. Okay. So maybe like the thing about him comparing them to black women, I could see a problem because well, she's never gonna be a black woman. And in that sense, Coretta King Scott and Michelle Obama can hold bra- can hold their husbands down in a different way than any other race, not just white. Any other race that's not black, right? Any other race will not know how to hold him down in a way that a black woman will. So I can see where they might be like, hey, that's not, he could have, that they're trying to say like, so have her be like, I don't know, someone else that's like. Simone. Or like Hillary (laughs) Clinton or something. You know what I'm saying? I know. Like. But yeah, he could have used. You know, like he could have used a white woman as an example, and I think you know in that sense they're like, hold up, she she won't ever under. And to his point, she doesn't understand what he's trying to portray, what he wants, right? And then for like, she's probably like, I can't do that, and maybe I don't want to do that, which is why I'm still doing this, Mm -hmm. you know, like. I get you, but maybe it could also be a thing like I didn't know what I was signing up for. And now that I'm realizing maybe I don't want that, which is he going to know it. This is the one that's going on very good, right? Oh yeah, so that yeah, makes sense. That yeah. makes sense I of why Megan Good is together. why he ended up being with her. But exactly, Yo. a black woman is only going to understand that, not a white woman. You know, so Damn. like lesson learned, bud. But now you got into all this shit, and yes, he better do that fucking year because that's the least. See, when they can learn their lesson is beat, not like messing with these white women like that. See, you reap what you sow. Damn, he deserves the year. He probably deserves more. <laughs> It's major. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Major messiness. I said what I said. <laughs> Damn. Man. It's real out here, man. <laughs> messy. <laughs> real messy. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. And uh, wrapping up 2024. Ready for more. Yes. We got in store. <laughs> we out of here. We out. <laughs> Spit talk. Let's go.